hello guys welcome back to my channel my good name is Cecilia and today again we are going to be learning this is due to pressure that I've been having from my students to do for you more about map work and uh, yes so I got a question this is because the map that I have is a Taita Hill map and I had to get a question uh, that is uh, extracted exactly from that map and that is what we are going to do so remember guys to subscribe to my channel those who have been there for me thank you very much please continue telling a friend to tell a friend for for more of these videos to focus on part c of our question so this means that we are going to know how to describe relief on a map when you are given a map any map given in geography how do you get to describe relief so first things first you need to know what is relief automatically it is just how the land looks like how will you know in geography how will you know how that land looks like you're going to be guided of course you're going to be, be, be uh, guided by the contours you remember those uh, representation of reliefs of map uh, of relief regions or in a map those are either the hills you are looking at the contours you are looking at the form lines hot spots and all others that you can have but majorly in a relief get to know that when you use the contours that is the best so we are going to be using them, the contours, to get to know how this land looks like. So let's get to it. So our question is, describe the relief of the area covered by the map. This is a question that is given seven marks. So therefore, it means that for you to get these seven marks, of which I said that when it comes to map work, it is the easiest question that you can tackle in that paper. So, for you to get those seven marks, then this is what you are going to do. That is, you get the first point, and our first point is describing the general appearance of the map. And in this case, what are we going to be looking for? The first thing that you need to note is the, those uh, features that depict relief which are those features that you can actually look at in the map and then say that this is a relief or it can give you the the relief how the uh, the general appearance of that area how it looks like for example let us look at uh, the contours as our first thing and let me say that contours are the major ways of noting uh, the relief of a region and uh, in this case as we are going to see, you can see that I'm using the Taita Hill map as the question requires us to do. And uh, of course, let us look at the contours. The other thing that you can look at the hills, we can look at the mountains, you can look at the spot height, you can look at um, the forest, the forest can guide you, you can look at the the direction of the drainage for example the rivers look at the rivers where they are heading to where they're coming from that one can give you the general appearance of the area now let us look at this one our first point i've said the general appearance you give the point on the general appearance of the map which you are going to be guided with the contours with the forest with the drainage how where they it is heading to so let us look at that in our region or in our map we can look at the mugange hills you can see we have the hills we have contour lines which are closely to one another on this side of the map we have those that are scattered or they seem to have space up on the side of uh, the map that is the southeast of the map and uh, also we can look at other few things like the swamps the swamp look at here we have a swamp this swamp can tell you that this area just this area here around the ronge forest the area around the ronge forest 
that one we have a swamp a swamp you can also look at it uh, you can have to look at your key to confirm whether that one is a swamp again we can look at uh, the this other side where we have the hills look at M uh, Moragua hills look at Mugange hills so generally we can say that this area is a, a hilly region it's a hilly area or we can talk of the area the Taita Hill area has isolated hills isolated hills the other point that you have to get is the lowest and the highest point of the region get to note the highest and the lowest point of the region again you are going to look at the we are going to look at what uh, what the big relief and that is for example, the spot heights, we have also these um, spot heights. We have the contours again. You can look at uh, the hills, we have them, and others. So look at the point where they are a uh, high region. And you are going to be guided by the, the contours, mostly. So in our case, let us look at it. We have a spot height here. We have a spot height or rather we can talk of we can talk of uh, the trigonometric station 2208 that must be the highest region then we can look at also the lowest lowest region where we have the regions not the region but we have the contours where they are scattered yeah, they're scattered. You can talk of the spot heights. You can see them. The spot height 642, 663, 651. So we can literally talk of 642, where it is. That one, we can give it as our, our, our low land region, or rather the side which is low. You can do that also by telling where exactly. Where exactly can we find it? So, on the Easting 4218, 42, we have also the other one. We can talk of the highest region at 22, 21, 21, 22. You can talk of that. So, by giving those uh, latitudes and longitudes, or rather the Eastings and Northings reference, that is grid reference, again, that that one is our point number two so point number three point number three give the general direction of the slope so the slope again look at those things that the big relief we talked about the um, the hills we have talked about the contours where they are closely together remember that one is a a high region so if it is a high region then it is uh, it means that where we have the ones that are spaced uh, from each other then it means that that one is going to be the low side so in our map the general direction of this region if this one is our highest and we are getting our lowest at uh, on this side then it means that there is uh, the general slope of Taita Hill map is from west to east and that is point number number two the other thing that uh, we look at is whether we have valleys valleys with rivers so for the valleys with rivers in this case we said that in this case when we are talking about the rivers that is drainage and in drainage we are looking at the direction of those rivers look at them so where are the rivers coming from Mostly we are looking at them here. We are seeing them here. We can have uh, We have Waganga we have Musao we have River Ruhia. We have Voigoshi. We have Kigombe so Kigombo River So we have those ones and where are they coming from? Just look at them They are coming from hills. These are these are supposedly valleys, sorry, they are valleys.
So this one is a valley. So these are valleys also. Look at the contours, how they are drawn. You can tell that those ones are valleys. And therefore we can say that, or we can generalize and say that we have several, several valley rivers in this region. Again, the other point, point, uh, I guess, the point number four, point number four, we can talk of the... We can talk of the types of the slope. If it is a gentle sloping land, if it is a... We have... Is it steep? So for this case, let us look at this map. Do we have those sides which are steep slope? Do we have those that are gently sloping? That one you can tell and you can give using, you can have grid reference to, to be able to prove your point. So if you talk about this region, let us look at uh, the south part of the map, the southern part of the map, where we have Taita Saisal Estates. We have this region. So we are looking at that part. We are looking at also the spot height, 642. So this one is a lowland. We can talk of that we have a gentle slope on the southeast of the map. Again, we can talk of steep slope we have steep slope we can talk of the southern part southwest of the uh, of the map it is a steep slope we have a steep slope depicted by what the closeness of the contours the other thing that uh, we need to do is uh, you identify the land the land forms that are present in that area so the landforms in this case if you are looking at the landforms you are looking at the hills we are looking at whether we have the we are looking at the cliffs we are looking at the bluffs if they are there so for the cliffs Again, just look at what we have. Just look at these contours. These ones can can depict a cliff. And uh, our last point that we can talk about in uh, ab when we are describing the relief in order for us to get all those seven marks is uh, you can divide the relief the, the regions relief regions of the map, you can talk of whether you can see escarpments, whether you can see the plateaus, and also if you can tell if the area is a lowland area. Lowland areas, remember, they can be depicted by what? By the plantations. The plants, we can have the place being depicted by the type of crops that uh, people have grown in that area, you can tell by that if that region is a is a lowland. So in our case, in our case, we can talk of the areas covered mostly by escarpments. Why? Look at here. We have at uh, Mugange Hills. We can say that these are uh, close. The closeness of these contours, they can form, or rather, they are forming a what? A, an escarpment also again on this other side we have also these uh, uh, these contour lines which are here around the grid reference uh, 30 25 30 from 25 30 you can see we have that those ones there they can depict an escarpment also when we are looking at River Ru here, where it is passing through, we can say that we have these contours on this side which are very close to one another and these others. Then we can talk of this one must have been an escarpment. So we can talk of a uh, presence of escarpment which are generalizing the area also to be uh, 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 
uh -huh. an area which has escarpments as a relief. So that is our last point. So we have talked about the general uh, appearance of the land, the highest and the lowest point of the area. Then we have talked about the whether we have valleys which have rivers, which we have seen. Again, a dividing, you divide the regions in, in, in terms of plateau, whether it's an escarpment, a lowland. So again, we can talk of the type of slope that uh, can be seen. Is it gentle sloping? Is it a steep one? Is it irregular? Is it even? All those ones that you can, you can mention when you are answering that question. Again, remember also to, to describe there. The direction of the slope, direction of the slope. We have talked about this one being west to east. Again, the, as the last point is uh, you identify the landforms. When you're identifying the landforms, remember you're looking at the cliffs, you're looking at the bluffs, you're looking at uh, other features that can tell you the relief of that region. And that is all, guys. Thank you for listening to me. Thank you and remember again to subscribe to this channel. There is a question, there is a question that a person has asked that um, where, how do you know whether you have the blasts and uh, automatically when you look at uh, the region, there was a question from a student, uh, we have at grid reference 2716, we have Bura. 15, sorry, 27, 15. We have Bura Bluff. Bura Bluff. So that one you can talk that, or rather, if you, you can't talk of that area having a landform which is an escarpment, if you can't talk of an escarpment, if it is not there, then you can prove by giving the grid reference of Bura Bluff, where it is uh, giving you the the evidence that we have bluffs in that region so thank you guys thank you guys yes remember to subscribe to my channel yes and uh, also to remember to tell a friend to tell a friend and uh, yeah remember to share my video with others so again wait for more thank you